Hi everyone, it's John Bo from Wild Bushcraft. Hope you're doing all right. This video is all about how to carve cranks on spoons to make your spoons seem a bit more sort of 3D-like um, and give them a bit more shape. If you're interested in that, stay tuned. So then, like I said, um, this is about how to carve cranks in spoons. So how to make your spoon sort of have a different angle bowl as it were to the handle. Um, you can go as mad as you want. Um, this one here look, quite a large sort of kink in it. Um, but you can go um, as mad as you like really. So I've got a block of wood, we're not going to turn this into a complete spoon, I'm just going to show you how to do the crank otherwise we'll be here for ages. Um, bit of walnut that's been soaking away in a bathtub over um, the other side of the workshop um, just to try and keep the moisture content up because it was cut a while ago. Um, obviously carving green wood is a lot easier hence why I've soaked it. So essentially all we're going to do is put two lines on this block to start with at the moment. The first line going across here is the line where your bowl is going to stop, so the bottom of your bowl essentially um, and a line down here just to mark roughly at this stage where the handle is going. Um, so we can try and start getting it as symmetrical as possible to start with. So there we go, you might be able to see that there. A line going across and a line going down. Um, now the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to use a saw because it makes life so much easier. Um, and I'm in the workshop because we're on lockdown still. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in two stop cuts. I'm going to put a stop cut straight down here, like that and a stop cut straight down there. And then I'm gonna batten off the handle. So we'll crack on with that um, and I shall show you what I mean. So step one. Turn it over. There we go, put that over there. So we got one line there and one line there, okay? And what I'm gonna do is get my knife and my tapping mallet and on the handle end, oh, nearly balls it up then. Making sure I'm inside that stop cut. I'm just gonna batten off a piece like that. And the same this side, making sure I'm well inside that stop cut. Oh, well inside that one. I'm gonna do that again. Okay. Take that, take that. And now I'm gonna get the ax and I'm gonna to start to just chog out those little bits. Getting right down to the, where those stop cuts finish. That's one. And on this side. Two. Excellent. So there we are, that's that stage one done. Cool. So it's a very thick spoon at the moment. So the next thing to do is get your saw out again. And at the top of the handle where it meets the bowl, along the rest of that line that we've done, we're going to saw down. Now I'm going to saw this about, I don't know, just over a third of the way down. So 
have a quick look. There we go. And now the beauty of putting in those shoulders here is that we can make sure that we're really safe for this next section and actually bring in the spoon so it stops on our chopping block here. You can see that? Because this allows me to do the next bit nice and safe. So I lock that off and I'm going to come down at an angle and cut that section off. So I'm cutting a ramp essentially. So let's give that a go. And I'm cutting down the grain as opposed to along with it. But if I miss and I slip, it's just going to go into the chopping block. So we're cutting down. That's one. Turn it over, coming at it from the other side. And the idea is to just take your time with this. Come in at that angle. And then being very careful, because I've left myself a massive hold here, I like to come in from the top. Nice and steady. Now, a really sharp tool is really useful here, so you're not having to put in loads and loads. Whoop, of really hard hits. I'm trying to do this at this angle for the camera. And then can finish off that. Excellent. So you can see that that's what we've got now. So we've got our bowl starting lower, the bottom of our bowl starting lower than the top or finishing lower than the top, which is what we're after. Now, easiest way I've found to get rid of this massive chunk here is to get our good old tapping mallet and our knife. Give that a little batten down there, nice and easy. And there we have a roughed out spoon blank with a cranking ready to go. Okay, so then you could draw your bowl shape here and then center up with the handle there and you just carve it out exactly the same way you would as a flat spoon, but now you've got your cranking, like that. So there you go guys, quick sort of 10 minute video on how to carve a crank into a spoon blank. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you found it useful. Be super safe, okay? Make sure you've got sharp tools, take your time, and hey, it's not cheating using a saw, all right? Your end goal is to make a spoon with a crank in. If you use a saw and you get an end, a bowl, a spoon with a crank in, and you've used a saw, you've achieved your aim. All right, nice one, well done. Um, stay safe, stay on lockdown, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.